Hi everyone, this is part 18 of JavaScript. In the last session, we discussed about uh, some basic examples with conditional statements when to use if, when to use if else, else if, multiple if, all these things we have seen, and we have done some basic examples also. Today, we'll discuss about validations in JavaScript. JavaScript main purpose is validations only. So, what is a validation actually? Validation is a process of, we'll see some basic validation. Later, we will see some uh, validations with regular expressions. So, what is a validation? Validation is a process of checking the user input is valid or not before submitting the request to the server. User will enter the values in the input fields. And uh, that values are valid or not, we need to check before submitting the values to the server. Is it clear? Then we have to use validations. Something like here I have some design like enter username, enter password. Similarly, here I will try to write something like confirm password, enter is some basic validations you will see. Advanced validations you can implement by using regular expressions. Okay, now. So here you can see validations are used to validating the user input, checking whether user input is valid or not. Is it clear? So here you see, this, are, this is my form, a simple form I have taken. I want to check whether the user input is valid or not. So my requirement is username must not be empty. If username is empty and uh, uh, user clicks on this button, here I'll take register. User is not entering any input in the text boxes and click on button, it has to be the error message. Username and password must not be same. Password, confirm password must be same. Age must be between 18 and 25. So I want to perform some validations for this form. So first of all, we'll try to design this form. I'll try to open pet and I'll try to design the form. Right, first of all, I'll try to open HTML tag. And here I'll try to close HTML tag. And here I'll try to open head tag. And here I'll try to close head tag. And here I'll try to open body tag. And here I'll try to close body tag. Always it is recommended to write the designing code in body tag. And uh, JavaScript code in head tag. Here you can open one form, give some ID. ID for that form, I will give some F1. And here I will try to close the form tag. And here I will try to write something like this. Enter username. Here I will try to take one input text box. Input to type is equal to text. And here I will give some ID. Every element can be identified with some name. That is nothing but ID. And here I will throw the cursor to the next line. And here I will try to take one more text box. Enter password. Here I will try to take enter. Password I will try to take and input is equal to password Password text box and here ID I'll give as T2 and here I'll try to give something like confirm password Confirm password input type is equal to password ID is equal to T3 Enter username password confirm password Similarly here if you want you can write enter yes Enter yes input type is equal to uh, you can take a number. Number means it will accept only numbers. No need to perform any other required validator for that. Here I'll try to give T4. These all are the different types of uh, design. And after this uh, is, I'll try to take one sub button. Input to type is equal to button. Input to type is equal to button. And here I'll try to give some ID. ID is equal to B1. And here I'll try to give value. Value just I'll give some register. Okay, na? and here I'll try to give some on click event. I'll try to invoke the function. I'll declare one function with name validate of. Is it clear? JavaScript main purpose is to perform validations only. But in order to perform validations also, you have to write some logic. Now I'll write the logic. But in order to simplify the logic for validations, uh, you can use regular expressions. Very, very powerful. That anyway, we'll discuss in future class. If you want to add phone number also, you can add here enter yes. And uh, here you can give enter. Email ID we'll try to do with regular expressions. Okay, now. Because nowadays a lot of predefined libraries, predefined frameworks can. Again, there is no meaning of writing huge amount of logic. Is it clear? Ready made uh, regular expressions are there. Now I'm not interested to teach regular expressions. That we'll discuss later. First initially we'll do, discuss with basic values. So this is my design. First of all, I'll try to go to head tag and here I'll try to write script type is equal to text slash JavaScript. 
type is equal to text slash javascript and here you can close the script tag and here i'll try to declare one function function validate of i'll try to declare one function the name of the function validate of bracket open bracket close catch the values from the text boxes so where u name is equal to how to catch the values document dot get the element by id get the element by id of element id i'll try to give t1 dot value i'll try to catch the values is it clear similarly password confirm password is phone number take one more variable here you take one more variable for password pwd is equal to t2 dot value here you can take one more variable something like cpwd confirm password here i'll try to give t3 t3 dot value okay now similarly here you have phone number is it clear phone number also is that so i'll try to later i will write phone number here actually okay now if you want you can write no problem phone number and here i'll try to give yes here i'll try to give yes so phone number id is what um phone number t5 yes is t4 yes is t4 phone number is t5 clear here i'll try to catch all the values and we already know that by default text box will accept the data in the form of string whatever the input you have given it will consider the value in the form of string so now i'll try to write some logics my first requirement is now one more point i will tell if you want to display all the errors at a time use multiple if if you want to display one after other use necessary sorry else so i will try to use multiple if because i want to display all the errors at a time so after this button i will take one span tag and here i'll try to close the stack and here i'll try to give id id i'll try to give as yes one okay now so here what i will do i'll try to write some logics here if if username dot length is equal to zero length is a predefined attribute that is available. document dot get element by id of value it will bring the value if i enter any if i'm not entering any value in the text box the length will become zero okay now here i'll try to take one more variable here okay here i'll try to take one more variable i'll tell you one small point here try to understand all of you here if i declare something like this where x is equal to ab x is string here and here if i write something x is equal to x plus cd and here again if i write x is equal to x plus ef okay now this is string actually so initially ab is stored in x now ab plus cd ab cd is stored in x concatenation plus operator between two numbers it will perform addition operation between two strings it will perform concatenation operation so that is the point you must remember where r is equal to empty result if you name dot length is equal to uh, zero i want to display some message username must not be empty username must not be empty plus throw the cursor to the next line so here you can use br tag br will throw the cursor to the next line is it clear this is what i will write the code here for if because username is empty means it has to display error similarly multiple if i will write and here i will write if pwd dot length is equal to zero if password is equal to then i want to display r is equal to r plus r plus means uh, here r is string you know string plus string is string concatenation two errors will display password must not be empty okay now similarly here i will try to write if cpwd dot length is equal to empty r is equal to r plus confirm password must not be empty similarly if and username and password must not be same that also you have to mention username means u name if u name double equal to pwd then i want to display one message saying that username and password must not be same if both are same display the error similarly password confirm password must be same if pwd not equal to cpwd then display the message saying that password mismatch password mismatch okay now similarly age must not be empty so here i'll write something like if age dot length is equal to zero if age length not equal to zero i will write 
if age dot length not equal to zero i want to display one error is it clear if age dot length not equal to zero and here i will write uh, one more if age greater than or equal to 18 and age less than or equal to 25 if age is greater than or equal to 18 and age is less than or equal to 25 here i want to display something like this r is equal to r plus age must be between age must be between 18 and 25 is it clear age must be between 18 and 25 so what is the meaning here means if age is not uh, and if age is not empty actually age is text box now the problem here is if age is string actual so i want to i cannot compare strings with numbers so convert the age into string is it clear so here you can simply convert into eval eval of is you can convert here directly and here also you can convert eval because that age is string you now i am converting string to integer number by using eval function then i want to display the error okay na? else else i want to display something like this what error age must not be uh, empty age must not be empty i want to display else here i am writing both if and else both i am writing here yes must not be empty was it clear like this you can write the multiple error messages and again come outside if uh, phone number phone number must not exceed uh, 10 uh, numbers okay now if uh, here i'll write right if phone number dot length greater than 10 it has to display the error if you want to anyway we have given phone number must accept only numbers now so no problem for that number text box you have taken definitely it will accept only number here i'll write something like phone number phone number must not exceed phone number must not exceed 10 numbers phone number must not exceed 10 numbers are following first we'll see this one later we'll discuss more anymore save the program but finally i want to display the output now finally i want to display the output where is my output r so finally i want to display the output in the document here i'll write document in our html i will use document dot get the element by id of what is the element id s1 dot inner html is equal to r okay now save the program go to desktop here I have desktop 2020 HTML Satya. There I'll try to save something like validate.html. Now let us once check here. Check this one. Go to desktop 2020. There you can see HTML Satya. There you can see validate.html. Let us see this one. This is my design actual. If you are not giving any username or code and click on register here, you see it has to display the error message. Username not be empty, password be empty, confirm password must not be empty, username and password must not be same, age must not be empty. If I try to give Anil, here also if I try to give Anil, register, confirm password must not be empty, username and password must not be same. Here if I give Anil K, here you see username and password must not be same password mismatch so here i will give anil k both are valid now now if i give the yes yes i will give 12 here it is not working yes actually let's see here once so i think eval it is not working properly here what i will do so if the yes length is not equal to zero then it will come inside i want to convert the yes into number by using eval of now let us check the output whether it is working or not once refresh here you see if i give the yes some tall it has to display the error message so no problem i think for yes we have given type is equal to number no need to type cast it will work but here one point i want to tell if a is greater than or equal to 18 one minute if a is greater than or equal to 18 and a is less than or equal to 25 don't display error so here i have done some small modification for the code for yes 
Is it clear? Here I written. If age is greater than equal to 18 and less than equal to 25, don't display any error. So don't write anything here. Else display the error. Age must be between 18 and 25. Is it clear? Now here you see the output once. And here I will refresh the face. Now age must not be empty. Give the age 12 here. 12. So you will get the error. Age must be 18 and 25. If I give 27 here, you must get the error. If I give the valid years 22, no error, something like that. Is it clear? Phone number will accept only numbers, years and phone number because I have given the type of the text box as number, no? That is the reason. Okay, now this is the code what we have to write for validations. I will give this code in the description of the video. If you any doubts, you can watch that. Check that code. And you can ask me, sir, I want to display all the errors in red color. What to do? Apply styles, CSS. Style type is equal to text slash CSS. Because I want to display all the errors in red color. Close style tag. And I'll try to use ID as selector. ID hash represents ID. Hash element ID, S1. Here bracket open, bracket close. Here I'll try to give something like color colon red. You can color colon that means text color will change. We can apply the styles in three ways. If you want to watch uh, cascading style sheets, you can watch my video CSS by Kannababu in YouTube. You'll get so I'm trying to apply the style for which element? S1 yes, tag. I'm applying the style for S1 yes, element. So if any errors will come, the rest of the S1 yes, elements will be in red color. So now save the program. Once check the output. Is it clear? All the errors will display in red color. Click on register. Username must not be empty. Password must not be empty. Confirm password must not be empty. Username and password must not be same. Age must not be empty. Any errors will come. All the errors will be in red color only. Those are the styles. Advanced style is bootstrap. This is the basic styles I applied. I hope you understood. In this video, we discussed about how to perform validations in JavaScript. Sorry, sorry. Yeah, this is the video. How to perform validations in JavaScript. For more videos, try to subscribe to this channel. Thank you. Have a nice day.